Hello, this is Chaos Balloon. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Last time, we investigated the Forgotten Capital. Yeah, the Forgotten Capital, and we learned some very interesting thing. Oh. What indeed? Hey, that's basically right on top of where- Oh, it's a weep on. Which seems to have very low frame rate for some reason. But, well... It seems to be on a direct course for Midgar. And we left our choke up behind. Again. <sighs> Where indeed? Oh, it's coming from Katie. Of course. Hmm. No. Uh. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, and where is she? In the Shinra building, presumably. Um... Hmm. Hmm. He actually makes a good point. You have to wonder, how many people did work in that building? I mean, just in terms of cyborgs and soldiers alone, we had a, a killed at least a couple dozen. Indeed. Mm-hmm. I mean... I mean... I mean... <laughs> it's not that Casey is really right, but... He's not wrong either. <laughs> Yep, something like that. Sounds like a plan. Of course we have a chance of winning. How would I know? Yep, way to fill him with confidence there, Cloud. Okay, well, fortunately, that Weepon, Diamond Weepon, is slow as sin. So we have plenty of time to pick up our chocobo. You see what I mean? So slow. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna land on this beach, and we're basically gonna need to just wait for it to get here. Very slowly. Actually, strictly speaking, we don't need to. I mean, I mean we do. No matter what, we're gonna need to wait for it to come over here. But we don't actually need to fight it. Um, if we just left it to be, eventually they would blow it up with the can- Wait, no. Do they do that? I don't remember now. Uh, in any case, it's been so, so long since I've done this, and I pretty much always fight it, so I actually legitimately don't know for sure what happens if you don't fight it, but I do know it is not necessary. The only thing we would miss out on from fighting it is the AP and a stealable. And yeah, that's it. Oh, okay, my mistake. It's coming to this beach. Just hur hurry up, please. I will say, as painfully slow as it is, it's actually going a little bit faster than I had thought it would. 
I guess it's just a lot. I, I guess really, it just had a much smaller distance to cover than I had thought. That's the truth of it. Uh, in any case, there's going to be something very special about this fight. And that would be that Diamond Weapon is completely immune to physical attacks. So, uh, here's what we're gonna do. Awesome. Uh, you do not appear to have... Wow. Okay. You should really have... Uh, anyway. Uh, we're gonna use Big Guard. And then we're gonna spam enemy skills and probably summons. Because I at this point I have like three or four summons that you haven't seen yet. So we're gonna work our way through them. Uh, having said all that, if I remember right, this guy is weak to lightning. Okay, just, just for the comparative reference. Uh I think we'll start off with Bombmoot Zero. Oh yeah, that definitely did less damage than trying. Behold, the cosmos! Check out that double skybox glory. More effort than a lot of games put into this sort of thing. The power of Space Bahamut! Bahamut in space. Can shoot a pretty cool laser beam, as it turns out. Yeah, basically, it's a kill, sat. And look at all that damage. But it was expensive. Okay, uh, we haven't seen Leviathan yet either. Um, we haven't seen Hades or Phoenix for that matter as well. But to be honest, we're probably going to wait on Phoenix until... Uh, until someone dies! Because that's, that's what Phoenix does. It revives people. And deals damage, but revives is probably the more important part. That was rather less, uh, but I'm okay with that. Next! Summon Hades! Actually, I don't think Hades will do much, because I'm pretty sure Diamond Weapon is immune to all status effects. But we'll do it anyway. Hades is a pretty cool guy. Come to think of it, what happens when he reaches the end of his countdown? Maybe I should guard just in case. Uh, Yuffie is not going to survive any decently powerful attack with her 1200 HP, so... So yeah, Hades. Not really a whole lot to see with this huge asshole blocking the way, I'll admit. Maybe not the best enemy to demonstrate it on. Uh, we are gonna... Wait, did I just hurt it with a physical attack? How the hell did that happen? Oh, she absorbs that. That's really convenient. Um, so. I don't know what this is, but, oh, uh, I totally missed that. Uh, but everyone was guarding, and my mighty guard wore off. No one's dead! Cure 3. Landscaper. Climb hazard! I don't even know if these will hurt it. 
Uh, Dragon's magic damage, I'm pretty sure. We'll try it. I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Wait, the magic immune guy inflicted silence? Wow. Oh, okay, he's dead. We did it! And look at- oh yeah, achievement get! Also, look at all of that AP and XP. All's born, a whole lot of, of material leveled up. I leveled up a whole lot. Oh, a little bit of audio glitching there. And he, like, just is ignoring us now. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We seem to have bought time. I suppose if he was fighting with us, he would have just told us this. In person. Hmm. Fire! The Sister Ray! Powered by all eight of Midgar's reactors burning at full power. Which is presumably what Diamond Weapon sensed. That they were... Oh, for fuck's sake. That they were burning through all of that magma power in order to fire the gun, is what I was saying. Why does it... Why does the phone always happen? I really wish I could just disconnect that thing. So much. Okay, you see this right here? This should have happened to every building in... Juwon. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Diamond Weapon seems to have some biological artillery. Clearly. Wait, did you leave my bird behind again? Damn it, guys! Come on. So, we basically did nothing to Diamond Weapon. I mean, we slowed it down a bit, that was it. That went <laughs> straight through. And seemingly one-shot it. Mm-hmm. Yep, the gun was pointed north. I sincerely doubt that it is Sephiroth, but hey, you knocked out that barrier! Nice. High density energy is headed towards Midgar? What? Oh, there are the attacks that Diamond Weapon launched. Uh, 
Well, Rufus seems seemingly just blew up. That cannot be good for your health. I, I, I guess we're gonna go check out Northern Cave now. But first, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's do that. I suppose. Oh, hey, level fourteen. Learner pilot. But first, we have a couple bookkeeping things to take care of. First of all, we mastered all! I guess only one of them, though. So we'll throw a new one on. Okay. Yeah. That's really close. I think Magic Up also leveled up. I'm pretty sure one of your things also leveled up. Wow, seriously? Man. I thought Restore was a little bit closer than that. I guess not. Uh... Really good that I had all my high AP summons on for that. Would have put a big dent in them. Uh, maybe MP Turbo leveled up. You know, I think something else of Clouds le leveled up as well, though. Oh yeah, I forgot I did that. Hmm. Oh, Steel's pretty close er, close to going. That would be nice. Um, Water Magic. Not even close. Fire is almost there, though. Again, I thought I already had this. Didn't I? No, I guess that was lightning and ice. So far away, but it'll be so worth it when I get there. Although, truth be told, I might not get there in this game. At least not this L LP. Hmm. Oh, that's doing pretty well as well. Life, full life would be nice. A anyway. Um. I swapped out my alt materia. Uh, I should save. Because I just got a whole lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, I should probably rest as well, to be honest. So, we're gonna do that. Hmm. No, thank you for the ability to instantly restore my HP and MP. It's, it's pretty convenient, dude. Hmm. I'm gonna need to find a shop to sell my all materia, but that one materia should be able to fund me to Black Chocobo for sure. Maybe the Gold Chocobo? That one's a little bit more iffy. In any case, let's head to North Crater, since apparently that's what we're doing right now. Sephiroth's energy barrier is gone. Sid! Can the airship get inside? <laughs> what now indeed? Oh? Confirmation! Katie is totally, um, Reeves. Took me a minute to remember his name there. I mean, I pretty much knew this was the case, but I didn't know that they actually went, made it quite this obvious in the game. Huh. Go figure. I do wonder how he c controls Kitsy and himself at the same time, though. Because obviously they're autonomous to one another, so, you know, just, just don't worry about it. Uh, what? Cool. 
cool for three hours? Hmm. Switch the machine over to- what? Hmm. It seems someone has sabotaged the reactor. Well... Of course it's Hojo. Damn it, Hojo! You are literally, in the context of Final Fantasy VII, the worst. There is no character who is worse than you. There is no person who is worse than you. You are worse. You just cause all of the things that go wrong in this game. Oh yeah, no, just there's the whole, most populous city in the world killing us an eighth of them. That's not good enough. Let's finish off the uh, the other. What is that like? 85%? Ugh. You are just the worst hotel. The absolute worst. Hmm. <laughs> well, there's a I guess that means there's only one thing to do. Time for the biggest eco terrorism mission ever. Can we blow up eight macro reactors within a matter of hours? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, although, hey, hey Sid, does the high wind have any missiles on it? Because I don't think Midgar has any anti-air weaponry of note. So, what is Hojo doing with the cannon anyway? It seems he's trying to help Sephiroth with it somehow, but it's pointed directly at Sephiroth. So, I guess he's trying to give him a power-up? A massive infusion of Mako energy! Probably something like that, yeah. Honestly, honestly, Reeves, you have too much faith in the competence of these two to have given them that information. Uh, the sad thing is, the president is competent enough. I mean, I don't consider him especially competent, but he's competent enough to realize what massive idiots these two are being right now. He... He is not about to shoot himself in the head, literally or figuratively, by screwing over uh, Cloud and the gang when they're trying to save him from, you know... Death.
Oi. On that note, join me next time for the raid on Midgar. Until then, this has been Final Fantasy VII, and have a good day. Bye.